Hello everyone, it's Dr. Sam. I'd like to welcome you to my Eye Clarity Podcast. This is a show that offers cutting edge information on how to improve your vision and overall wellness through holistic methods. I so appreciate you spending part of your day with me. If you have questions, you can send them to hello at drsamburn.com. Now to the latest Eye Clarity episode. Hey everybody, it's Dr. Sam, and I want to welcome you to another Eye Clarity podcast. You know, one of the areas that I'm going to be focusing on in 2022 is the effects of cosmetics on our eyes. And, you know, I've been doing a lot of research, and uh, I'm going to be publishing a, a written blog fairly soon on my findings But I wanted to introduce you today to the idea that whatever we put in and around our eyes can really affect our eye health and vision. And, you know, there isn't a day that goes by and I'm consulting with women and they have had chronic dry eye syndrome or blepharitis or meibomian gland dysfunction. And they've been to several eye doctors and nobody has mentioned to them, well, what are you putting in and around your eyes? And, you know, our culture is on such a fast-paced arc right now. And we don't necessarily stop and think about what we're putting on and in our bodies. And especially in younger folks, image drives everything. And so the cosmetic industry has really been part of this whole movement of no matter what it takes, we've got to look beautiful. And sometimes we pay a price if we're using different cosmetic products and we're not examining, well, what is actually in these things? And when I talk to patients about it, it's a total disconnect. They go, oh, you know, I've never really made that connection. So today, I'm going to open the door with some ideas on how to start navigating the cosmetic industry and what you're putting on and in and around your eyes. So here are some Simple things, you know, if you're, you know, suffering chronic inflammation or irritation, I want you to think about the cosmetic products that you may be using. And in doing that, take a break from them and see if your condition goes away. And I have to say, A lot of times, combining some of the more natural remedies that I promote, things like castor oil massage, homeopathic eye drops, MSM eye drops, increasing your fats and oils in your diet, using blue blockers for your screen time, getting 30 to 60 minutes of natural sunlight a day, you know, all of these things help improve your eye health, but I think one of the keys that I really uh, recommend would be to find out, well, what are in the products that you're using? And if there's any chemical or preservative that either you don't know what it is 
or you are able to discover through certain research on the internet, I would stop using those and I would move directly into plant-based products. And there are a lot of good ones on the market. You know, living in New Mexico, I am researching now a couple of companies and I'm not ready to uh, endorse them. In fact, I might actually have them on my podcast later in the year. But whenever we use plant-based products, we lower the risk of irritation, allergies, and inflammation. But when you use a plant-based ingredient, and I mean completely plant-based where there's no processing in it, I think you have a much higher chance of reducing your risk of irritation, inflammation, and allergies. And this would be also going for things that are cruelty-free, so no animal testing. Not using any dyes, you know, hair dyes, for example. And promoting, again, more vegan, all-natural, plant-based, certified products that you know what you're putting on is not going to create problems for you. Now, I have a lot more to say about this, and I am just whetting your appetite. Again, my blog will be released soon, and then after that, I'm going to go full on into companies that I recommend, who I've researched, and just some other ways that you can make sure whatever you're putting on your body, on your skin, in and around your eyes, is going to support better eye health and wellness. So that's my message for today. That's our show. I want to thank you for tuning in. And until next time, take care. Thank you for listening. I hope you learned something from the Eye Clarity Podcast show today. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure to subscribe on iTunes or Spotify and leave a review. See you here next time.